Yes, the and my phone is, Facebook. is YouTube. Your phone's YouTube. This is YouTube, and this is Facebook, and they're both they're all, all they're both on. So, do I need to do anything with this camera? No, you've got it right where you yeah, want that it. That one's good. So I'm just going to read the comments. This to one's you. good. So you can read the comments from that one, <clears> and <throat> you can read the comments from this too. But I don't know because I'm I'm live now. <clears throat> I'm waiting for people to jump on this here will show you how many people's watch and see there's like mm. a little person there. Oh, okay but nobody's on there yet no i don't know how to tell i think it'll the same thing will be on here so i'm gonna share i'm gonna share this to my sewing group just in my sewing group okay i've got two people watching but i don't know Oops. Okay, Lucy's going to look it up. And there's one person on there. Okay, hey, y'all. Hey, we're we're getting everything set up, getting ready to start here in a few minutes. This is the first time doing it, and I promise I won't be right here in your face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've got three people logged on, and then now I don't know how to, how to turn it on here. Let's see. Is your volume on? I think my volume's on. Can y'all hear me? Well, now there's only one person. Can y'all hear me? If you can hear me, uh, if y'all can he hear me, send a, write a comment. Okay, Gracie, I don't have time to play with you. Okay, I put on there, can y'all hear me? Yes, Bobby Joe says yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you so much. There's one like... Okay, so that person said yes. They okay. can hear me. Good. And then I hear you, Deborah Elborn. Great, great. Thank you. Thank you, Deborah. Okay, so they can hear me. And then it's 12.57. We are going, we're going to start here in a few minutes, and we're just getting set up. And then so, and this is Gracie. This is Gracie. <laughs> and that's Catherine, who you just heard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm trying Hi. to. Hi, Gracie. I don't know how to find it, like, on here, though. There's events. Hey y'all, if y'all are jumped, if y'all are on, we are getting ready to get started. So, let's see. Oh, my notifications. Let me go to my notifications. I'm not showing anything. Uh, I don't know how to pull it up and watch myself on here. Let's see. Are any of your friends, have they said they're mm -mm, on yet? They haven't. One of them said she can't right now. I just asked my sister if she can. Okay. That way they can at least see. See if they're hearing. Let's see. I guess it's not letting me bring it up because I'm the one doing it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it may not let me, it may not let me do it. Okay, I've got, okay. Hi, let's see. So, Sherling, hello. Thank you for joining us. Deborah. you have inspired me. I now have my own animal rescue. Hope for, uh, hope for Paul's in North Carolina. I'm excited about medical transport. Oh, that is awesome. And my sister's seeing it. Thank you so much, Deborah. Is she on um, YouTube? She, I don't know. Yeah, I think she's watching it from YouTube. Okay. So I'm not getting any comments she here. Can, let's see. I've got two people on YouTube watching. This is so, YouTube. Yeah. Okay. So what's this your sister? Facebook. This is Facebook. Yeah. Melanie. And you can. Your sister's name is Melanie. Uh huh. How do hey, I Melanie, see? Hey Melanie, if you can, if you can hear us, send us a, uh, send me a comment so I know that you can hear us. And I think I think that she. So can. Melanie can see the cat. Oh, she said she can <laughs> yeah. see the cat, but can she hear us? I don't know. Because Gracie is. Gracie is like talking. Okay, <laughs> hey y'all, we are about to get started. 
what time? I don't have my phone, so I don't know what time. Okay, it's, it's one o'clock. One o'clock. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started, and I'm going to show y'all um, how to make one of these little sewing caddies, and this is live. This is the first time I've been live. I've got Catherine here with me. She is going to be my sidekick, and so is Gracie. Okay, so if I can hear you. Okay, great. Thank you. Can you see that? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a good idea. Okay. Um, so, yeah, if it's... See, I don't know how to do it. I might have to get on someone else's on someone else's thing on there to pull okay. it up on there because I can't see okay, it. Okay, I can read it. Anyway. Can you? They're seeing it. She sees Gracie. Facebook. See? Okay, yeah. So don't scratch yourself with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on. Um, come on, Gracie. Come on. I'm going to... Come on, let's get out of the way. Oh, get... my sister sees your ponytail. Now she sees you. Okay, great. And it shows, does it show one o'clock on there? Yeah, it's one o'clock on the okay. dot. Okay, and then that shows, so we have, we have three people watching on YouTube and we have one person on, um, three. Oh, three, three on people Facebook. on Facebook. Okay, so I'm doing this simultaneously with, um, YouTube and Facebook, y'all. So if you see me looking over this way, that's because I'm looking at YouTube. If I'm looking this way, I'm looking at Facebook. So Feel free to ask any questions while I'm doing this. We're going to start from the very beginning. Okay, um, so again, welcome, welcome. And my name is Connie, and this is So Crafty. This is Catherine. She's my sidekick. She's helping me out. This is the first time we've been doing a class online, and so I'm already having a great time. How about you, Catherine? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get started. I have allergies, so I apologize. With me, uh, blow my nose. Anyways. Okay, so we're gonna start with just some basic supplies that you need. It stops and starts. Right, it's difficult, difficult to follow. follow. It's okay. Just I don't know. Keep going. Yeah, I don't know just what that going. means. It may be, maybe her internet. Um, I mean, seems seems bring them on. She says, it. bring them on. Okay. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started, and I'm just going to tell you the supplies that you need for this. We're going to be making this little sewing caddy. I'm using mine right now under my sewing machine, okay, and it's got, it's going to have three pockets. You can add more if you like, and I will show you, there's my YouTube people, and I will show you um, how to make the different pockets. At the end of the video, we are going to get do a giveaway for a little $5 uh, Starbucks card, okay? So $5 to Starbucks. Um, so we'll pick someone at the end through comments. And um, yeah, I'll get this mailed off to you. As appreciation, as appreciation for you watching. Um, now what I do with So Crafty is I make things and sell and then I give my proceeds to the SPCA, so uh, Beast Texas and other local animal rescues. Um, so if there's anything that uh, you're interested in or you purchased, then yeah, I'll definitely send the proceeds to them. I'm on Etsy and then I'm on TikTok, follow me on there and Instagram and then YouTube and uh, Facebook. Okay, move out of the way, Gracie. This is my helper, but she's not really helping too much right now. So, do you want some more snacks? Come on, come over here. Come over here. Let me give her just a few more snacks. Come on, Gracie. I've been gone all morning, so I think she wants some. Uh, <laughs> she wants some attention right now. So I apologize for that. If she didn't stay out of the way, I'm gonna have to. Lock her out of the room. Okay. So the first thing that you want to do is let's gather our supplies. So we want two pieces of fabric. You want um, one for contrasting with the other. So uh, I think I'm going to make this as my pockets to be my pocket. And I'm going to make this to be the little part that lays, you know, that the sewing machine sets on. Um, you also need some scissors or a rotary cutter whatever you like to cut with and then some pins if you feel comfortable with some pins great if not um, that's okay too i usually don't use uh pins but that's up to you i'll do it to show y'all because 
this is definitely beginner friendly. Okay. Um, and then of course sew machine. And I have an ironing board over here too. And so that helps as well for your sewing machine. Okay. I have a cheat sheet and um, I have move move this one over just a tad to your to the other the other way so they can see the sewing machine. Go ahead and move it just a little move it just a little bit. Right there. There you go. I think that's good. Or can they see the let's move it just a little bit. That's good. And I'll just bring it back over. Bear with us just a minute. <laughs> okay, I think that's yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, I have a cheat sheet of the size to cut your fabric, okay? So your big piece of fabric is going to be cut at 20 inches by 20 inches, and we'll do that here in a little bit. And then the pocket size is going to be cut, is going to cut um, 20 inches by 12 inches. So let's cut the big piece first. This is going to be my big piece of fabric, so let's go ahead and get that cut first. So I'm just going to find the end here and we want it 20 inches tall and 22 inches wide. And the good thing about this is that the 22 inches wide is already how wide the fabric is. So that kind of works out. So what I'm doing is taking the top of it, you know, the fold is on the left hand side, fold is on the left hand side, so I'm taking the top and I'm putting it at 20 inches on my board here, my cutting board here. And then it's already 22 inches wide, so I don't have to worry about that. So now I'm just going to take my rotary cutter and I'm just going to cut that part off. There's a question. Are you going to post this on YouTube? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. I just I can hear you say that. Yes, um, I am going to post that on, post this on YouTube. Did you, uh, where did that come from? Oh, okay. Somebody asked on YouTube. Yes, once I get through with this, um, I'll post this on YouTube to be, to be seen. And then it'll also, um, I mean, you'll be able to go look back and look, watch it too on Facebook, I believe. Okay. So now this is. This is my big part right here. And if you have, if there's anything that you think of that I'm not saying, then, you know, please chime in. <laughs> okay. okay. So here's my big part. I got it cut. So I'm done with that piece. Now I'm going to cut the pocket piece. And I wanted to use this as my pocket piece. Now, um, you can do it however you like. I think the pocket piece, if you if you look here, the pocket piece is going to be seen a little bit more, okay? And so, because the big part is your sewing machine is going to set on it. All right, so now we're going to cut the pocket piece 12 inches by 20 inches. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I will explain to you. Now, cut it one, one long piece if possible. 12 by 20, 12 by 20. Let's see, here's 20 inches, there's 12, 20 inches, and 12. Okay, so now I've got it laid out 12 inches by 20 inches. I'm going to cut that off. By 20. Cut that. I usually I'm usually standing up when I'm <laughs> when I'm cutting my stuff, but, but that's okay. This works too. Okay, now I've got my pocket piece cut. It's 12 by 20. Okay. All right, now. Going, we're done with this piece. Put it aside. Okay, so.
So basically what you're going to do with the pocket piece that you just have is um, you're just going to fold it in half with wrong sides together and this is going to be your pocket piece and I'll show you how, how that works here in a minute. While you're doing that, I'll list the people that are watching. We have Cheryl and Vicki. Hey Cheryl, hey Vicki. Victoria. Victoria. Hey Victoria. Charlene. Hey Charlene. Toby. Hey Debra. Toby. Debra. Hi Debra. And uh, um, another Debra. Okay. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for joining. Okay. Now what you're going to do is I have taken this fabric, the, my big piece, and since it wasn't exactly folded correctly, um, it had a little bit of a, you know, it, it wasn't folded all the way where the ends met. So I have folded it to where the ends meet, and now I'm going to iron it because you could see a little few wrinkles. So I'm going to go ahead and iron it down smooth. So if you have the same problem, then just go ahead and iron it down. I have my iron right beside me here. So I'm just going to kind of iron it smoothly. And then if yours, if yours is like that, then I would go ahead and iron it too. Don't take it. It needs to heat back up some. I guess Gracie left, huh? Yeah, she's gone. Okay. Don't give her any attention so she's going to leave. <laughs> so how is everyone doing today? Hope y'all are having a good Saturday. It's pretty good weather here except for it's kind of, kind of, uh, cloudy. cloudy. Yep. Okay. So. Still ironing. It took a little while for my, I think I need a new ironing board cover too because some of the, the cushiony stuff in the bottom has kind of, has kind of gone out, you know. The thing about YouTube is I can download it, you know, just mm -hmm. like this and put it on there. And then I think with Facebook, I'm not sure. I think Facebook will um, will um, they'll be able to watch it, but I don't know for how long. Ooh, this thing is pretty wrinkly. It's taking it's taking a lot to get out of it. But anyway, we won't spend any more time on that. Okay, so here is my big piece. I ironed it down. It's not. Probably, I'm probably need some starch and stuff to it, but I'm not really worried about it. Okay, so if you cut on the fold, the easiest thing I would do is to cut the fold of the fabric so that you'll have two separate pieces. So I'm fixing to do that now. I'm fixing to cut the fold of the fabric. So now I have two separate pieces for my big part. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one piece of your big part and you're going to lay it down flat with the right side up. Okay. Now I'm going to take the piece that I cut for my pocket, the 20 inch by 12 inch, and I'll tell you again, my little cheat sheet here. The big part is 20 inches tall by 20 in, 22 inches wide, and the pocket is 12 inches tall by 20 inches long, okay? So now I'm going to fold my pocket piece with wrong sides together, okay? And I'm going to iron it, just give it a quick iron, okay? Now I'm going to take it and I'm going to lay it at the end, at the end of my big piece here, lining up the raw edges, okay? If, if you find that, this is 20 inches, it needs to be this way. 
fun that it's either smaller or bigger than, uh, you know, don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be perfect. And um, same with the 20 inch by 22 inch, the size that this is going to be. If you want it to be bigger, cut it bigger. If your machine is, is bigger, cut it bigger. If you want it smaller, make it smaller. Um, it's your preference, preference, however big you want it. Um, but I just found that it's average size to me for a good sewing machine is 20 by 22. But again, it's up to you if you want it bigger or smaller. And also this one that I have underneath my sewing machine, it is a 20 by 22. And my, my sewing machine is it's pretty wide. Don't you think, Catherine? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's pretty wide. Okay. So now I have, I have this all lined up. So I put, for in case you missed it, in case you're just joining us, um, the big piece is on the bottom, right side up. I took the pocket piece that was 12 by 20 and I folded it in half, wrong sides together. And now I'm laying it on the end of the 20. Okay, and the big piece and putting the raw wrong sides, uh, the matching up the raw ends. Sorry about that. Okay, and again, if it doesn't match up perfectly, don't don't worry. Um, yeah, that's not a big deal. Okay, now you want to take your other piece of fabric from your big part and lay it on top of your pocket and your other big piece right side down. Okay right side down so you're going to make a little sandwich and you want to match up the seams all the way around match up the seams all the way around okay so it's like a sandwich so i've got the big piece uh, on the bottom the pocket in the middle and then the other big piece on top and they are right sides together if that makes sense everybody with me Anybody have any questions so far? Hey, no, but we can welcome Kathleen and Treva and Angela. Hey, welcome, welcome. Hey, Vicki. I know Vicki, Cheryl. I know Catherine. Hey, Catherine. She's my friend in Virginia. Hey, Treva. Treva should be is in North Dakota, but she better be moving back. You're supposed to be moving back here, girl. Have you gotten here yet? <laughs> There's Angela. Hey, Angela. I hope y'all are doing okay. All right, now. This is where um, probably pinning in place is a good idea um, because you're working with a big, a big section here. So I'm going to go ahead and pin this in place. I put a pin in the corner, put a pin up here in this corner. And then I'm going to put a pin in the bottom corner and then put another pin in the other if you want to eat healthy, corner. Okay. All right. Now, now I'm gonna just put a pin at the top of where the um, pocket is, just to kind of keep it nice and straight. Because as you're sewing it, it can shift, and you don't really want it to to shift much. So, well, you don't want it to shift at all. <laughs> okay. All right, then I'm gonna add another pin just to make it somewhat even right here in the middle. I don't know, if, can everybody see this? I'll show them. So I got pins all the way around. Okay, so I got pin on that side, pin on that side. I don't have any on the top. I guess I'll add one on the top and bottom too. Go ahead and do that. Add one on the top and the bottom. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to sew all the way around this edge, okay, and you're going to leave an opening at the top, I'd say about a three inch opening at the top, um, so you can turn it right side out, okay. All right, 
And then what I'm going to do is, as far as the, the seam, the seam size, the seam allowance, I'm just going to follow the edge of my presser foot. But if you want a little more precise um, seam edge, seam allowance, then I would do a fourth of an inch. But if you feel like your seams are not even or they don't match up too well, I would do at least like maybe a half an inch. That way you'll know that you've gotten everything, you've sewn everything in, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start at the top where I'm going to put my opening, and then I'm going to go all, sew all the way around. Let's go ahead and do that now. And then what I'm going to do is when I start stitching, I'm going to back stitch a little bit. So um, when I turn it, the, the stitch will stay closed and it won't come apart. with that I'm gonna take my pins out now before you turn it or before you start clipping anything make sure that you've got everything you've sewn everything in and what you can do is just kind of look in between these uh let's see just kind of look in between these little your little seams and make sure you see each fabric, all the, the fabrics. That way you'll know that you got everything in before you turn it right side out. Otherwise you'd have to turn it back and then flip it back and sew what you missed and that kind of thing. So I look pretty good on that. And then on the, uh, all the other side, yep, that looks good. Looks good. Okay, so that looks good. Now I'm gonna just clip my corners so I'm just going to clip my corners like that, and this will help the corners form better when you flip it in, when you flip it right side out. Okay, so I've done that. Now I'm going to flip it right side out. to kind of poke, you want to poke your corners out pretty good. Corners poked out. I mean, I'm just using my fingers just to kind of poke, put my fingers in the corners, just kind of poke them out pretty good. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. <laughs> Now I've got it all flipped right side out. Okay, so now it looks kind of like this, just like a box with the little piece on the bottom. 
okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to iron this down and make it look a little flatter. And as I iron it down, I'm going to move the, push the seams out just to kind of flatten the seam, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Kind of iron it a little bit more flat. I love this yellow. I probably have to say yellow. It's probably one of my favorite colors. Now I'm going to do the other side. And then, so for your opening, I'm going to make sure that the, the seams, kind of the folded seams match up with the opening. And I'm just going to iron that down. Okay. All right. Now we got it all good and nice and ironed flat. Now, at this point, if you want to pin it again, you can. I'm not. It's okay the way it is as far as for me. Okay, so now this is what it looks like. All right, now I'm going to sew all the way around the edge. Just sew in a stitch all the way around the edge and I'm going to close the opening at the top. And then I'm gonna do like a fourth of an inch seam allowance. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. If you find one right now. I'm just gonna start on one corner and then I'm gonna stitch all the way around the edge. Bobbin's almost empty. While you're changing the bobbin, can I show them the rest of your studio? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not changing it yet though. I'm gonna, oh. it, it just gives me a warning, like, oh, you know. okay. Change the bobbin. <laughs> okay, so I'll show them. I'll do that. Hey, Aunt Faye. That's my aunt. aunt oh. Faye. <laughs> I'll go around the studio. Now I gotta change my bobbin here. So you can see the rest of the studio with the dog. That's Venus. Go lay down, Venus. I guess Eric was. Take a picture of all the blue ribbons. <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot of blue ribbons and red rib ribbons and white. And another furry friend.
okay? All right, now I've got it top stitched all around. All the way around the top. Okay. Um, now we're going to create the pockets. So I've got it all sewn together. Okay, now we're going to make the pockets for, uh, for the bottom here. And just a reminder, if, uh, if y'all are watching, um, make sure that you write a comment. Just say whatever you want to say. It doesn't matter. Just say something because that's how she's going to pick the uh, door prize winner for the $5 Starbucks uh, gift card. So make sure that you comment something, you say something, say hi or whatever, if you have a question or something like that mm. to win the, the drum. Vicki says, what are the blue ribbons for? Um, those are for the, the, the fair. Mm -hmm. I've, I've entered some quilts and things in the fairs, uh, the East Texas State Fair, the Louisiana State Fair, and also the Tire Quilt Show. So, I, no, I didn't get any blue ribbons from the Tire Quilt Show. I got a second and a third place. And then the other ones are, um, yeah, from the, from the state fairs, East Texas State Fair, and Louisiana State Fair. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Thank you for the question, Vicki. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to make the pockets on these. Okay. Really, really easy to do. First of all, decide where you want your pockets and how many pockets you want. And I'm uh, sorry about uh, Sophie. She's, <laughs> she has trachea issues, but she's, the vet said she's fine. She just has to do that, open up her trachea. Okay. All right. Now you want to decide where your, uh, where you want your pockets to be. Okay. And how big you want them to be. For instance, on this one, I have like three big pockets, but if you want more, that's, that's totally fine. So I'm going to do the same thing with this. So I want my pockets to be, if you want to measure, that's fine. I don't really measure. I just kind of, I just kind of wing it. I just kind of go with it, right? <laughs> so I'm going to probably put a pocket here and here. And the way you're going to do that is just sew. Just sew, make a stitch. And what the best way to do this, though, is make the stitch from the bottom of the pocket where you top stitch. So start your stitch from the bottom of your pocket after you top stitched it, okay? If that makes sense. All right, does anybody have any questions? Everybody good so far? Okay, so if you want to make, like some people will make a pocket for a pin, okay? So you might want to make that pocket a little smaller, maybe about this size. So then you would just put a stitch right here, maybe three inches. So just go from the edge where you top stitch, count three inches, one, two, three, and there you go. You can do one there, you can do one two inches. It's really your preference. You can have however many pockets on here as you want. Okay, but I'm just going to do two. It seemed to work well for mine. I have my scissors and I have my glasses case and I have my seam rippers. So it seems to work, work good for me. Okay. So here we go. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and make the pockets the way I want. Uh, I'm just going to have three and I'm going to use also use my sewing machine as a guide. So I'm going to start at the end. When you start to stitch, you start to stitch and then back stitch and then go stitch up past the pocket and then back stitch again to secure it. Okay, so here we go. Now back stitch. Oops. Okay, so I made one pocket. Now I'm going to make my other one. And let's see, I think I'll have it. And I'm just eyeballing. I don't think I'll have it right about here. Okay, 
So maybe two pockets. And I think that's all I'm going to do. So here's my two pockets. I made my two pockets. Then there's one in the middle. And then you can set all your sewing notions in there. Like here's some of my sewing notions. You can set them in there like that. And so it'll look like that. All right. And now I'm going to clip my threads. Would you repeat the dimensions of the fabric? Absolutely. <clears throat> the dimensions of the fabric is 20 inches by 22 inches for the big part. And then the pocket is 12 inches by 20 inches. And um, if when I'm on YouTube, when I post this on YouTube, I'll also put that in the description. So you'll have, you'll have that. That was a question from YouTube, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll put that in the description. And then um, for Facebook, uh, y'all will be able to see, um, uh, you'll be able to rewatch this video and see. I mean, you will be able to on YouTube too because I'm gonna all upload it. But yeah, if, if this video shows on Facebook and you still have questions, you can comment. You can comment on that. But I'll repeat it again. The big part of the sewing caddy is 20 inches by 22 inches. And the pocket is 12 inches by 20 inches. And the pocket is you're going to fold in half. So it'll actually become 6 inches, but we'll fold in half the right size together. Okay, I think I clipped my threads. Nope, let me clip my back. Let me clip my back. And we are almost done, so I think this looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to put this under my sewing machine. So I'm done, okay? It's, it's done. And then I have my pockets, and so now I'm going to put it under my sewing machine to show, um, to show you how it works so you can, so you can see. All right. Now this muscle machine is uh it's kind of you do the drawing. It's kind of big. We'll do that in a minute. We'll do that afterwards. It's kind of big and, and bulky. Yeah, you need to help it, buddy. You can help you lift it. Yeah, I guess maybe. What I usually do is I lift this side, and then I lift this side. And then I'll pull it out. Okay, so there's the one that I made earlier. Okay, it's got my little sewing notions in. Now we're going to put this one under it, and you just lay, lay your fabric under it like that. Okay. And then how does the back look? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, here you go. So here's what it looks like. All finished. Hey, Lynn. Yeah. And then you can just put your sewing notions in there. Okay. You can, what about, oh, hit cancel. Okay, that's it. We're going to go ahead now and uh, pick someone who has commented on it. Yeah, we're going to pick a name for the uh, Starbucks car, gift card. Deborah Elburn. Deborah Elburn. I'm going to send you this gift card for $5 Starbucks. Thank you so much for watching. I will send you a message um, on Facebook. Yeah. On Facebook and then I have do can you do YouTube? YouTube? I have two of them yeah see who no I think it's let's see we're gonna do one on Facebook too I want to do a I mean YouTube we just did I don't know where to find it oh here we go no not yet not yet okay okay yeah so okay so Vicki H you have um, 
you have won on YouTube, so I will send you a message or send me a message. Let's see, Annette says, hi, Connie, I missed the beginning of this, so I'm going to have to get with you to see how to start it. Yeah, Annette, that's totally fine, and I will post this on uh, Facebook so you'll be able to see it. Are you going to post this? Yes. Yes, I am going to post this on Facebook, uh, Bobby. Okay, does anybody have any... Oh, I'm sorry. I am going to post this on YouTube. Does anybody have any questions before we go? I think we did good with our um, our first uh, class. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much uh, for helping. Let's scroll down and see if anybody else can... Okay. All right. Thank you all so much for joining me, and uh, I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.